Morning girls, how are we doing? Welcome back to Foodie the Beauty, Foodie Beauty, Chantel Marie, the Miriam of the Reaver. I don't even remember anymore what I used to go for here. Uh, okay, so this is Jamaican Chicken Patty's Lunch Bees. She's put out a couple of live streams since my initial reaction to the live streams. And also a video I think just came out not too long ago, which is her um, apparently flying back. So obviously I'm going to be covering that as well. Now with her live streams, I'm really trying to decide how I want to do them. Because uh, I think my even like from watching my reaction to the first one, like I'm not overly fussed with them so i'm not sure if you guys like really even enjoy seeing me react to her live streams because I i'm not really fussed on them because a lot of times i find myself being bored and i literally am just sitting looking around my desk for things to do you know i used to get up and go and like hoover and stuff like that during them because i often find them so boring to react to especially without like an hour or more long um i watched through her previous one and i made some notes on it so i'm kind of tempted to do something here and you guys let me know if you're interested and if you don't like how this is done. I'm obviously going to put timestamps in the uh, the chapters and everything like that. So you guys can just skip it if you end up not liking it. Just go to my reaction of this bit here. So yes, going to talk about that now. Okay, so the last live stream that she did was the St. Hubert's Bees and Sadness. Now, this one is like one where she got like 29 pounds in. She peaked at like 880 views or something like that, which is... A pretty major like fall is like from like what was it, 2100 2200 she had during her actual live stream and she fell to 880, 880 in her follow up one more than likely because this one was not long after her initial comeback one and by that point I think there was a bunch of reaction channels had like gone online and were like stream sniping or whatever it was so that's probably why she lost like most of her viewer business that they all went decided to watch it through like uh uh like one of the reaction channels instead um now pretty much at the start of this she claims that she only has one strike on her channel hey trixie no i don't have two strikes i got a strike before but it only lasts 90 days that's why it's gone so if you could not strike my channel that would be great Oh, fries and gravy. Also, someone called Brenda reminds her that her fast isn't over yet when she's like pulling out all of her food and she immediately just goes like, don't start Brenda and then proceeds to eat like a huge double tray of trip chips, a huge pot pie and a tub of coleslaw and at one point is literally drinking gravy. <laughs> don't start Brenda. Hi, Joey. She also says she's not fasting because of her diabetes. Even though she was like pretend to break her fast in her videos, she makes it sound like she hasn't been like fasting at all this Ramadan. But I definitely totes for real did it last time, guys. Even though she was, like I said, pretending that she was doing it this time. No, because I have to take medications. And I need to drink water because of my diabetes. It's too hard. There's somebody coming. You're not required to fast if you have medical reasons. And you're going to think, just an excuse, whatever. It's not... I mean, it is, yeah. But it's a valid one, you know? <laughs> I did at the beginning fast, yeah. But my health is different now. From last Ramadan to this one? <gasps> All a lot worse. I'm on medications now. I wasn't before. In reaction to a uh, super chat, someone, um, she steps up pretty much and says that she'll be seeing Julia soon and it has to quickly just try and correct it. Our queen is back in Canada. We miss Julia now. I know, Wama Tane, me too. I really do. I'll be seeing her soon. I mean, I'll see her again soon, inshallah. Like, well. Which I think is pretty obviously cringe because, like I said, this is just a visa run. It's obviously just her, like, running back to Canada to get her birthday presents, to escape Ramadan, so she doesn't have to, like, fast and it's not a strict. And because, like, the takeaway place is like Jamaican chicken patties, lunch beef. Like, I, I know she's already given the excuse just there that she's not fasting because of her diabetes, but it's so weird because he has to make a point. It's like, well, I, I can't fast because I have to drink water. It's like, okay, but why does that mean you're eating though? Surely if you're breaking the fast because it's like, well, I can't fast because I need to drink to take this medication. It's like, okay, then don't do the drinking part of the fast. Do the eating part of the fast. And surely that would be seen as a good substitution. But no, she's sitting here eating Jamaican chicken patties. She's eating chicken pot pies and all before um, the breaking of the fast and all. Like, so like, why aren't you like 
not eating, you know, if it's just because of the diabetes and just because you need to take water with your diabetes medication, then why are you eating at the same time? Surely you could just like be drinking water, but actually you're still doing the fast. It's so obvious that you're just using this as an excuse. Um, yeah, with the same with the Julia thing, like I said, it is just her. Obviously, she is going to go back, you know, relatively soon. This is just a visa hub. She wants to be able to go back. She just doesn't want to have to go back to a country that has all of its takeaway places closed. Um, she also freaks out that they forgot her chicken tenders despite eating, like I said, a double tray of chips, a huge chicken pot pie, a tub of coleslaw. At one point, he's drinking um, the gravy straight from the thing again. Uh, but she keeps complaining that they forgot her chicken tenders. I'm not kidding you when I say she brings it up at minimum out of my notes five separate times. No! They forgot my Nashville chicken tenders. Both mother. I ordered... I ordered two Nashville chicken tenders <laughs> to go in my pot pie. Oh, I can't stand that. I hate when they get the order. How are you going to forget my Nashville tenders, however? I'm going to go back there. I got pot pie, fries, gravy, and chicken tenders, but they forgot them. So I'm going back. And be like, what the heck, man? Oh. Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm so mad about my tenders. Did you hear my stomach? I gotta go get my missing tenders. I'm not going, I'm not gonna go in there and be like, I'm missing my tenders. I don't even know if I have my receipt. Oh, yeah, I do. Do they charge me for them? Let's <laughs> find out. Well, what did you put on? I know it's not playing. I'm not going to say how they're I'm not sure where I'm moving. Two Nashville fillets. And I can't go back there now because the box and everything. I'm finished eating. <laughs> everything fell on the ground. They didn't give it to me, though. Maybe they know this and I can go back. I don't think I'm gonna go back. Nah, forget it. I'm gonna go back. She also, once again, like, tries to go for the whole, like, thing there. She's happy she's banned. And people point out that she's clearly also happier in Canada. And she then just immediately pretends to be sad. Which is just kind of cringe and pathetic. Like I said, a lot of this, like, especially later on, comes across as really performative. It's like... Like, a couple times this happens where people remind her, oh, you're clearly happier here than you are in, in Kuwait. But obviously, because she's going back to Kuwait, she can't have people thinking that. So she keeps, like, making, like, lame excuses, like, oh, well, that's just because it was summer and I couldn't go out. And then people will point out, it's like, well, you didn't do anything during winter as well. And she's like, well, yeah, but, 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 but my health. And that's pretty much all she has to say. Yeah. I seem happier. I don't see it. <laughs> I don't know why you guys thought I was like super miserable there. I wasn't super miserable. Like, I can't explain it. There's things I miss about both places, so. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, I don't know, I, I can't explain it, you know? Also in her brand new Kia that's just been fixed, $2,000 worth of fixtures and upgrades and all to it. The key is better than it's ever been. She apparently has no internal lighting whatsoever and she's sitting there in pitch black at times. And then when she tries to turn on like some like tiny side light to try and allow us to even see a tiny fraction of her, you get this level of quality in the stream. There are other parts where she goes like robot voices, other parts where it goes like really crackly because she has to stream out in the middle of nowhere in the dark because she's bound from streaming anywhere near her parents' house. And also, in my opinion, she's probably just like hiding. I think she's probably hiding away in the, in the woods because she probably is high as fuck because she is like very up and down during this live stream. Um, she does a lot of like like suddenly singing and then suddenly doing like the ah! Nikocado cry out of like 
nowhere. She's all over the show, and it really makes it seem like she's really fucking high. And she probably is hiding out just in case. Like, because if she parks at the side of like a motorway, a cop might pull up and ask her what's up. But if she hides in in the forest, there's unlikely going to be a cop just randomly dandering around. So that's why she's hiding there. She weirdly claims that if she goes back to Kuwait, she can't have Sam. And if she stays in Canada, she can't have Julia. And then there's like a really noticeable pause, like just wait for it. And then she's like, oh yeah, Sam. And then, of course, Nick and Kato cry once again. It's just, it's just really cringe, like I said. It's very obvious she's going back. She keeps bringing up Sam over and over and over again. But never in a way where she seems like she sounds like she's even actually convinced she's getting it back or even cares because she doesn't care about sam she doesn't mention Sa sam like whatsoever when she's talking about missing cubit she mentions julia before salah because obviously julia is actually like her cat that she actually lives with and she can show it off on screen constantly to be like look at me look i have a cat bet the reaction channels are upset about that because she's basically cat hitler but she can't show off salah anymore because salah most likely doesn't live with her and salah's refusing to actually appear on camera now and it's like <clears throat> if i live in Kuwait, i'm without Sam, if I live in Canada, I'm without Julia. That's just weird. And I'm without Salah. Like, it's just weird for me. No, I'm, I'm supposed to stay in Canada. Like, I can't change everything. I'm already very deep into this. <laughs> I miss my husband and my cat. How we may be. I'm kidding. She's basically pretending to be like manic depressive, like with ups and downs, ups and downs, but it's just obvious it's because she's high as fuck. And then when people like remind her, oh, well, you seem a lot happier here, she has to be like, well, fuck, because like obviously she needs to move back to create, so she has to downplay. So then she starts like acting like, really miserable towards the end. I'm sure some people probably believe that it is real, uh, but it just seems like so performative. It feels to me more like she's upset because she had finished her food bad point because yes. A lot of the stream is just her, like, reading people's names in chat or reading what people someone said in chat and going, uh-huh, whilst just stuffing her fucking face. Yeah, I've never seen her eat so quick in my entire life. Sorry, I'm, like, literally picking out. Thanks, Teardrop. It's one of the best places around. So she finally runs out of food. After mentioning for the 45th time that she's going to go back to the to the shop to complain that they left out her fucking chicken tenders. Like, that's why she seems sad to me. Because she's run out of food, she's sitting there alone in the fucking car, and she's waiting to go back. And she's pretty much trying to set up the stage for the return. So in a week or two weeks or whatever it is, she can come back and say, guys, it was just too hard. I had to go back because my husband, he just loves me so much, guys. Also, Sala was in chat a couple of times just like, saying like random shit and like foodie didn't even sound like she believed or cared about it whatsoever like at one point he says something like like imagine people thinking you're broke but you can afford to fly back to canada it's like what i <laughs> it's really it's like it's like a flight it's like yeah flights flights can be expensive but like they're not like ridiculously expensive or anything like that it's really not that big a deal I'm, I'm, I'm sorry it just isn't like if i can afford to fly to japan like you know it's it's yeah that's that's not like an insurmountable amount of money it's not like i had to save for months to be able to afford a flight to japan that's pretty much the distance that she's going i think she said it was like in her her, her video was like a 18 hour travel day or something like that when it's like yes that is mine was like a 24 hour travel day you know it is you know my, my flights overall were longer than her flights to get back to canada it's not that expensive i'm sorry yeah it's like it, it is certainly expensive but it's like it doesn't mean that you aren't doing poorly but yes guys that is pretty much to sum up the video like i said if you guys let me know if you guys are interested or not i pretty much went and took notes and i thought i'd kind of talk about them and play her clips throughout it so it wasn't just me sitting there silently just like recapping it like i used to do um uh, but now i'm going to actually react to this one and let, just let me know what you prefer because if you guys prefer just like a straight reaction even if it is me kind of doing things on the side and every once in a while i kind of just like you know fade in and I, like I, I leave my big parts certainly let me know guys because I'm, I'm here to entertain you guys so i'd rather do it in a way that you guys find entertaining i know with the last one with me doing the st herbert's bees thing it's probably a lot drier it's not me joking around as much um so we'll see you guys okay guys let's get into it and this is jamaican chicken patties lunch bees we started off in Santa Pose, obviously our lovely, dainty, 400-year-old Marion sitting there in the, look at my ring pose. Uh, 
sentence she's probably never ever said to Sala. But actually, because of the last live stream, we all know it secretly is she's just trying to relieve a little bit of pressure on her chins there. Let's go. Hello, here we Hello. go. Jamaican is crazy, Natalie. That's a good one. Uh, hey, Natalie, Natalie, how are you? you? Witty bitch you. <laughs> Tuesday's gone. Whoa. The shirt is gone. Oh no, she shows skin. <sighs> Show skin. Pennington's. Pennington's. Please. <laughs> that didn't, I didn't think that was going to be the next sentence. She didn't even say it happily. Pennington's. Bees. It's just like, wow, this is at 1.5. I, I definitely said it at 1.5. I did. That's how slowly and sadly she said it. Even at 1.5 times speed, she is that miserable. But, th okay, this is like so many of her live streams recently. Is her singing. I'm glowing. She's I don't see it. You have eyes. <laughs> Those glasses have helped finally. You can see that you certainly aren't fucking glowing. Look at this. Imagine someone saying, you look glowing to this. This. She looks like she should be in like a war report of like a 400-year-old lady who's lived in a Ukrainian village for 390 fucking years and she doesn't care that the Russian front line's approaching. She's staying where she is. That's the look Foodie Beauty is giving right now. Who would describe that as glowing? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hey, Noel. Where are you? That's a long answer. Hi, Energy. Paquito, tell you hello, bro. Uh, yeah, I, I just, I, like I said, I was, I was, I was considering having the, um, the chat on the screen, like, but I don't really know if it adds anything to it, honestly. Um, uh, but the biggest problem is it is just her reading chat. But like, I'm probably gonna skip most of those segments anyway, so we'll just get through it. Where is she parked right now? She looks like she's parked like across like a, a, a forest trail. Like, did she just like crash through that fence? Is it, did she come through that fence back there and she's just stuck against a tree right now because she's so so incredibly high whilst driving? Michelle, dirty! Everyone's coming in all at once. Yes, Ashley that's Blue. right. Live stream start. Heather, Heather, Talia, Natalie, Drew, Cricket. The only time like, I'm glad we're just reading it. I'm glad she she got so excited when people are coming in because that is. What she cares about. She is so happy. It's like I said last time. It's like she probably just think, oh my god, I'm getting all the, the viewers again. They're all going to come back to me. Even though it's like the viewer kind has dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped since she came back. Gagne, PMAC, Gagne. Lauren, Maggie, Kiki, Rachel, <laughs> Joanne, Lo-Fi, hi. Hi. Naomi, I look smart. <laughs> no, you don't. Um, hi, Vera, Rachel. Hi, H. Alt. Hi. Lisa P. Kelly, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Oh my god, can you guys hear the audio crackling? Like, what? Is this up? Yeah, can you guys hear the audio crackling as she's just talking? <laughs> Glam gal, Noelle, Mark, Chris. There. It's going back. I heard audio crackling when she fixed her fucking hijab. Holy shit. Do you hear the audio, crack the audio crackling just constantly in the background? I'm not sure, because I think she fo the films with her phone still. I'm not sure it's because, like... I mean, she had a fight with Salah and she threw her phone at the fucking wall and has damaged it or something like that. But there's been loads of crackling recently. And maybe it's because her, her fucking camera keeps like suicide diving off the <laughs> off the the, the, the the dashboard there. But it's just constant. Or it could also be because like she's out in the middle of nowhere because she has to like hide in the backwoods, I guess, to do her live streams. Maybe so she's like, I'm waiting for that energy to suddenly pop up behind her. Maybe because she's high as fuck and she's scared the cops are going to show up. Who fucking knows? Because oh. I assume people probably would. They probably would call the police on her if they think she is out driving. And I don't do real life stuff. But if you do think she is actually like high driving, like I don't have to admit that part. That really wouldn't bother me that much. I have somewhere in mind. Celeste, Italian. I'm going to apply for a, for it. Can you apply for a better audio setup? Holy fuck. Okay, so she's 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 been back in Canada. This is her third day back in Canada, and she has already found an apartment and is applying for it. R Bro, you should really pace yourself if you want me to even pretend to believe you. Lindsay, I, I oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Tiffany, let's sure get sushi. <laughs> okay, maybe someday, Laura. Oh my god, this Who, audio no? crackling so annoying. Be golden girl, kiki kiki kiki. You down. You're at Costco? Oh my gosh, good luck. <laughs> Vanna. Good luck. It's Costco, like a war zone or something like that. Good luck in Costco. I hope you make it out alive. Trixie. H. Alt. Oh, thank you, H. Alt. That's very nice of you. Thank you so much. I missed all you guys. Thank you, H. Alt. Yeah, I think I found a place, but I'm not going to tell you about it just yet. Because it doesn't oh, exist? I have the best patties ever. I'm starving. I'm so tired, guys. No one has ever, described, no one has ever described foodie as having good patties. My sleeping is messed up. Okay, so first... My sleeping is messed up. It's probably because you're high as fuck, and the second you go back home, you probably crash into slumber like fucking Christian. I think today I have... I don't know what this is. Colombiana, but it's really cold. Cola flavor. What does that mean? That means it's cola flavor. Like, huh?
Cola flavor. What does that mean? Quote the 500 pound woman. Like she doesn't understand what flavor is or cola is. What? Fantastic video. I'm going to be like quite chopping and skipping because like a lot of that introduction was just going, John, Jake, Jonathan, 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 Jacob, Jacobson. You know, it's over. It's like, yes, there are people. Thank you. Lindsay, 34 months loyalty bees are Canada bees. Yes. Thank you, Lindsay. That's a lifetime. 34 months. Where do you say bees? If you're a hamster, it's a lifetime. If you're a hamster and I, and I put you in the air fryer or accidentally sit on you or let you out and a, a, and a, and a cat eats you 12 times in a fucking row. I get 30 months before. Like, like, it could be how long you live. We 30, 30 days sometimes a week, on a, a, a day sometimes. That's a weird thing to say. Like, she's so psychotic. It's just like, I guess she's just rambling because she probably is just high as balls, but she's just like rambling incoherently. 34 months? That's as long as I have to live! It's like, okay, foodie, calm down. Did you forget to say it first? Did you forget to say it first, that foodie? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm Italian in Canada. Doesn't have much flavor. Not right now, Tiffany Dawn. Maybe a later. Oh, there's gonna be a pasta. Storm, I know. Yeah. This is chicken. Nice. Bismillah. Oh, you remember the. <laughs> Do you know what? I guess, I guess the tits act as a good shelf there just to make sure your car doesn't get any dirtier. Uh, do you want to chew with your fucking mouth closed? Fuck me. Thanks, Elise. <laughs> oh my god. Like, I guess the second she gets high, like, you know, like we always said, like, she was, like, dragged up and, like, she really wasn't, like, house trained like a dog or anything like that. Like, the second she gets high, it, it even more so goes out the fucking window. She is talking with her mouth full. She is open mouth chewing, staring at the camera. Oh, fucking gross, bro. Yeah, it's like an empanada kind of. MMJ? Oh my god. Like, Jesus. What a fucking beauty we've got going on here. Like, oh my god. This, uh, I hope she only has one of them. <laughs> this says patties, so I assume there's more than one. Because I was hoping once we got through this, we'd be like... Kind of done those with it, but I'm not feeling that. I think we're, I think we're going to be enduring a lot together here, guys. No. No. I can't fast. I know you're going to think. No, it's <laughs> I can't fast. <laughs> I got it. She's not even pretending anymore. She's not even pretending like she gives a shit. She's literally laughing at the idea of fasting. Because, like I explained yesterday. Um. I. Uh, they're my... gonna smirk and she's like, they're smirk. I have to, um. Patients <laughs> that, like, I need to drink water. Okay. Um. I... Please explain to me more in depth of why you can't not eat for a day because you need to drink water. <laughs> but, like, like I said, like I said before, and I think it was the last one, it's 100% fine if you're just like, okay. Well, I can't fast because, like, I need to drink water because my medication requires water, diabetes, all that kind of shit. It's like, okay, then wouldn't you just be, but I'll do the eating part of it. I'll do the eating part of the fast. I just won't eat. I'll, I'll drink. Unfortunately, I'll break the fast with the drinking, but I just won't eat. She is literally sitting talking here with, like, fucking pasty on her tits, like, while describing that she has to drink water. And as such, she isn't following Ramadan's traditions. I tried fasting. And I just like was so dizzy because like I couldn't drink water. When? And I'm like, how am I gonna take my medications? When? Like, I can't do it, you know. Last, I'm assuming last year, like, cause like, she didn't even do it this year. But I didn't want to talk about my fasting because people judge me, you know. But because you're lying. So I just kind of avoided it. Like I didn't want to rub it no, in. No, it's but... no, because you lied. Because you're literally showing videos of you like breaking the fast and like smiling to the camera and like, ah, and like making a big song and dance. But this is the meal for us breaking the fast. But you didn't fast. Because your excuse, and like there are medical exemptions and everything I got, is diabetes. Fine. Why aren't you doing the eating part of the fast then? People would understand, okay, well, I, I, I can't do the drink because I have to drink because I have to drink because of my diabetes and I have to drink because of, you know, the, taking the medication. That's fine. But you're not mentioning food. But, like, you're going to see me eating, so I have to tell you. Are we going to see you eating? Could you not eat for this? Could you not like survive without eating for this one hour? I have to be honest with you guys because you're going to see me eating. This vi this live stream is one hour long. One hour. <laughs> like one hour long. <laughs> Why could you not last for one hour without eating? Hey, Jim. Our dainty. What would she pretend to be like 330 pounds or something like that? Our dainty definitely 330 pound girl. Pasta, Kiki. 
Look, it's food inside it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> She's a, this is the happiest I think I have literally ever People said she looked really happy when she came out to Canada. This is the happiest I have ever seen her. And it is stuffing her fucking face. So this is my lunch. I love she laughs. It's like she literally laughs. She is so high. She's giving herself away. She is laughing at the idea of this being the only thing she's eating for lunch. She is so high. She's even giving herself away. Oh my god, that's crazy. Oh, did you like it, Italian tidbits, the airline? No, I'm not getting the mansion. You know how much that costs? That, the fact that I didn't get that house was... You're never getting the house. Is there a cop here? <laughs> uh, well, I'm just, it, 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 it's, we're streaming for an extra R, so I'm assuming she's not about to get arrested. For being high whilst in charge of a vehicle or whatever it is. I'm assuming it's something like that. Because it's like drink driving, isn't it? Like if you're high as fuck, I'm assuming you're not allowed to drive a, a car. So I, I'm assuming she doesn't get stopped. Oh, that'd be so funny. I think, like I said, I don't do it in real life stuff. But if she got pulled for like basically drink driving, 100% I'd be okay with that. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't shed a tear about that. I wouldn't give a fuck. I wouldn't care about the lost content if she got in trouble for this shit. Because this shit is fucking ridiculous. She immediately has to comfort bite. It's like a comfort blanket. She has to think, is that a cop? Instantly takes a comfort bite of her pa pasty. She's nearly hiding behind her pasty, hoping the fucking cop doesn't see her. Oh, it's pathetic. Oh my God. She's like gone silent. She's like hiding. She's like gone silent. It's like a fucking monster movie. It's like a monster movie where she's like hiding from fucking Jason in a cupboard or something like that. She's like peeking around the corner, sitting like hiding behind her fucking chicken pasty. I can't, I can't believe her. We seriously fucking do this. It's like she's scared he'll hear. That is how high she is. She's worried like this cop who's like probably the other side of the car park will hear her chewing. Look at her. She's like hiding, looking at him. Okay. With divine intervention. Oh my god. He's gone now. Oh, okay. She's so fucking pathetic. You weren't going to get... Wow. She is stress eating now. She has taken like non-stop bites in a row now. She is genuinely stress eating. So like, it was divine intervention that you didn't get the house that you definitely weren't fucking getting. Because that was the whole like nut salsa thing. Where she like pretended, oh yeah, I went to sign... Of the agreement because they wanted me to have the house but then i went back the next time but they gave me nut salsa and then i went back the next time and they wouldn't let me have it but i went back in my hijab and they're islamophobes and that's why they wouldn't let me have it even though by this point everyone knew it's because you know she's getting ready for the salah the qe at arc because she'd already put on the fucking hijab and everything like that that's why she cancelled moving from the villa because she'd been like evicted from the villa or some bullshit like that or was moving to like a cheaper place because she was broke um like, she used, like, nut salsa as her, like, excuse. It's like, guys, it obviously happened. I have nut salsa that they give me. How else could I possibly have nut? That was genuinely, for anyone who wasn't there, that was her actual argument as to why this entire storyline happened was she had some random fucking nut salsa. That was it. That was her evidence that she was buying a house where she had nut salsa. <laughs> like, not lying. It's, and it sounds so silly to say, but it is probably one of my favorite of all times of her storylines, especially because people then went back and they saw, like, her, her... She did, like, a video of her going to, like, a farmer's market with her aunt, and, like, she literally walked past the stall selling the nut salsa, and it's like, okay, so that's what you bought it from. <laughs> it's fucking silly. She is so scared now that she saw the cop. You know what I mean? Look at her. She's terrified. She's constantly glancing well, around it's herself. Not the, it's not the difficulty. It's that I have medical issues like I do. Well, the medical issues that you give yourself. But like you said, you're, you're saying your medical issues require you to drink. You're literally sitting here eating it. I haven't seen you drink yet. I haven't seen... Where, where's the water? Where's the water for your medication? You're literally sitting here double fisting chicken patties into your fucking mouth, which I'm assuming probably isn't helping your diabetes a lot. And if you can't fast, then... Like, if you have medical issues and you can't fast, then... And you won't fast. Wow, she's so pathetic. Yeah, it's nice, eh, Italian? Yeah, I bought some new clothes. Why even but fucking have the clothes? They're kind of big, really? Is up. 
What size is that? Is it because is it you're gaining weight rapidly? Is, is it for that reason? Is it because she's at least honest with herself and she realizes that every time she goes back to Canada, because she's only going for a week or two, she binges like her laughing earlier on at the idea that these chicken patties were the only thing that she was having for lunch because she knows across the next like two weeks she's going to do nothing but fucking eat until she goes back to Kuwait because she can't get Jamaican chicken um, patties when she's in Kuwait, I guess. Just in case. Why did you get the clothes? Like you spent, I've spent six minutes straight fittering with your collar. Why even have this if it's uncomfortable? My head's peeking up. <laughs> Natalie, I have to practice the way I practice and not have to answer to anybody. Well, that's you, it. That's all. Except you have answered like three times. This is your third time answering now. Relating. I'm practicing the way I practice. So like, not at all. Well, guys, do you know what? I'm a practicing fucking Buddhist monk. I don't know anything about Buddha or being a monk or anything. But guys, you can't judge me. I'm practicing being a Buddhist monk. How I'm practicing being a Buddhist monk. And none of you can judge me, okay? No, people can judge you, especially if you're so fucking stupid and about a faking shit. Um, it's been stretches of this, which is just her, like, silently staring at the screen for, like, ten seconds. Just unbroken, just staring at the screen. Obviously reading chat. And you're just like... Is this all your live streams were sure? At least last time when she did her like appearance in Canada, it was 20 minutes before she ran out of steam and had nothing to say. We got seven minutes in. And we talked about fasting three times. That's it. Nut salsa? Uh. Ah -ha! No. Ah -ha -ha! Uh, people still remember foodie. You can't fucking lie to us. <laughs> I look like a librarian. What section of book are you looking for? Oh, uh, <laughs> F for fat. I'm looking for Fat. Might be under PH, honestly. Really, she cute? I find I look like I'm, like, my, like 50. <laughs> you look like you're, like, 80. Like, you're being so, really generous to yourself here. Oh, I can't wait to see where this so's yeah, going. Yeah, for 25 months. Loyalty bees are high. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Pretty so baby. Jesus fucking Christ. She's so fucking gross. She's... Thank you, Gemini. Look at her fucking teeth getting stained. I can't believe how long some of you guys have been here with me. Yep, you've been a train wreck for a very long time. I look happier? I'm just tired right now. Usually I look happy. I look happier? I'm just tired. What? But that, there wasn't even like a coherent thought there. Like, like usually what is happening is people say, you look high, okay? People say, you're high or you look high or something like that. And she goes, I'm just tired. I'm just jet like That's the usual response. It's like a Pavlovian response from her. But if someone said like, you look happy, and the Pavlovian response kicked in. She's like, I'm just tired right now, I'm jet lagged. It's like, no, they said you look happier. How does that? No, I'm just tired. What? <laughs> what? A few days for my body to readjust, like. You look happier. No, I'm just tired. It takes a few days. What? The fuck is she saying? Like I said, 100%. And it, she just got immediately defensive about being, like, she just read happy as high. And she immediately got defensive. After sitting on a flight for like 14 hours. Wow, even only? Like after like five, six hours. Only? My legs start to like, my, I don't know, it's like. Oh, bro, it's, I'm sorry, that's not that insane. It really, really isn't. I've done a 12 hour and a 14 hour back to back. I've done, like for the recent holiday there, it was an eight hour and a 12 hour. It's, I'm sorry, it's not that insane. Like maybe if you're gonna do this, if you're gonna be the globe trotter that you wanna be, Maybe just lose the fucking weight instead of every single time you fly, you fucking bitch and make it sound like you actually did climb Mount Everest when literally all you did was sit in a seat for fucking eight hours. I had compression socks on, but my legs feel so stiff and swollen after for about three days. Uh-huh. Yeah, because it's so unlike you to sit for long periods of time. Oh, Applebee's like, that's horrible. I'm going to install the day in my apartment. <laughs> like I said, this is like the only time she ever looks actually happy, and it is when she has these fucking pot patties. Um, you're gonna install a bidet? Yeah, because you can't wipe your ass by yourself. Like, <laughs> I'm parked in the same spot as yesterday. Yeah, for now I have no choice. Joanne R, you suit blue. Thank you, Joanne R. <laughs> That's nice of you. Thank you for the suit. What was with her eye roll there? Joanne R, you suit blue. Thank you, Joanne R. <laughs> what was with her eyes there? Like, she's trying to do the shh thing earlier on. You know, like, she pretended she had a tick? I say shh. She was pretending she had a tick. She's trying to make that, like, her brand, like, ages ago. Some people might think it was an actual tick. I, I don't. It just seemed, like, too deliberate, you know? Especially because she just, like, randomly just did it there again. I, I, I'm sorry. No, I just, I, th I think it was her 
trying to be like feedery, kinky or something like that? Or is this her trying to be like, you know, situation type deal moment, that kind of thing, you know, like Amber Lynch, she's trying to make a, her catchphrase. But that's, but that, but I think they're looking like an actual tick. <laughs> that's nice of you. Thank you for the super chat. Mm. Yeah, I go for a walk. Mm, I'll pass. No, I'm kidding. Ha! I'll pass. No, I'm kidding. I'm, just, I'm, I'm going to assume for the next 50 minutes, she proceeds to still just sit in place. Ha! I'll, I'll, I'll pass on a walk. No, I'm just kidding. And then doesn't go for a walk. Like, I, why, why? Like, it's like, it's what I've always said. Anytime she says, I'm just kidding, you know, whatever she just said, she was fucking dead ass serious about it because, yes, of course, she's not going to go for a walk. She bought extra large clothes because she knows she's getting fatter. Porch lock my aw. But yeah. That was a nice gesture. Uh, yep. I probably am going to just like skip through a lot of this because this one is very boring so far. It is literally just like, hi, John. Yeah, I, no, I agree. Vanessa. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. And then just lots of eating. Why do you think I have to be, be careful in the middle of nowhere? Because you're high as fuck driving. <laughs> See, even like her eyes there again. She did the, uh, the eyes thing. Why do you think you need to be uh, careful whilst uh, out and about? Uh, because you're high as fuck driving. That, that's why. That, that, that's it. Because you're only live streaming for an hour, okay? So imagine she's think, oh, it's because uh, FFG is going to come and get me or something like that, which I don't think. I, I don't think FFG is just going to show up wherever you are. I don't, like, FFG hasn't, like, indicated that. The one time she did was at the public event you invited people to and you wanted your bees and all to show up to. And she showed up to that public event that you were hosting. You know, we'll say you, know, you weren't hosting, that you were a part of. So, like, that's entirely fine, in my opinion. But it's not like she showed up anywhere else you've been before or was, like, she following you or anything like that. Um, so, uh, I'm sorry, you're only here for an hour. It's not like each of you even have time to get you. No, no, you're being careful about where you are so people don't call the police on you because you're high driving. That's why. What? People have taken pictures of me. How can you say that? Hi, Lois. <laughs> it's literally not in my head. I'm not usually paranoid, but... You are. Jeez. You're literally just pretending. Well, you're, you're like I said, she, she's doing it because she's high and she's driving. That's why she's actually doing it. But she's claiming it's because she's st being stalked because she wants to be the ultimate victim ever. Well, if it's where I want to go, yeah. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! oh, my God. Look at that beautiful imagery we got to see there. Oh, look at that. The grand reveal. Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, oh, my God. The grand reveal. She just never fucking ends. Like, how are you so bad at everything you do? Like, this is literally your job, and every single live stream, the camera has fallen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my gosh. Give me a minute, okay? Oh, my gosh. She's showing flesh. Because She's this so thing wants to fall stupid off. at everything she does. I need a new sticky. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh. Tell me how much hair you've got going on there, because you lent forward, and I saw a lot of scalp there. I didn't see much hair going on. <laughs> Like when she left forwards at the top of the heat job open but I didn't I didn't see like a hairline at any point. So is her hairline like where? Like just past the horizon there or something like that? Also just to interrupt, uh, I'm sticking it up on screen here. It is a foodie beauty has stuck up a community tab post there only a couple hours ago. This is um, hello, I've had many people ask for my PayPal info. I see a lot of creators put theirs in their video descriptions. And I said it's a good idea. For those who want to send some support, all contributions will be kept private, and I always have. Leave a personal thank you message to those who do send me anything. These guys, thanks guys, see you again soon for more basing. People obviously made fun of her for it somewhere, I'm assuming, because the comments have turned off. So I'm assuming someone somewhere made fun of her for it, and she then edited, How is this begging? Lamau, most creators have a PayPal or Cash App. Begging is, please, please give me money. I need it for this or that. Which you literally did in your last live stream, you fucking goof. Nah, I put it here because people asked me to. Don't want to give? Then don't. Have a nice day. What the fuck? It's not that serious, lol. People are weird. It's not that serious. Like, why are you responding to it? Don't want to give? Then don't. That's it's, it's almost like begging. If someone begs from you, you don't have to give to them. That doesn't mean... It's not begging still. She literally was begging in her last video. She has been begging. She begs all the fucking time. The cameo is basically begging. <laughs> you know, it is. I'm sorry. Also, with the PayPal thing, the one thing I would recommend to people is not to do PayPal. Um, especially, like, even if you're trolling her or whatever. Uh, don't do PayPal. Even if you're a fucking beezer or somehow you stumbled upon this, don't give her any PayPal donations whatsoever. Um, PayPal, PayPal, PayPal 
whatever, often sends across your information to the person because it's like a receipt of like a payment. So it would say you received the payment from that potato man or whatever the fuck it is. So you might end up doxing your name. Sometimes if you're paying for like, a, if, if it's how it's sent and it looks like a goods or service, sometimes they send your fucking address as well. Sometimes they send your phone number as well. So be careful with PayPal. Don't be going for it. Like, Foodie Beauty has, like, other ways you can support it. She has Cameo. She has Super Chat. She has memberships and all. Like, PayPal just seems, like, bizarre. It seems like a, a very dark side fill. Oh, I'm super broke right now. I need, I give me pay, uh, tips, not Super Chats, because tips go straight into my account. They're there much faster. Because remember, guys, she got banned at the end of the month, so she knows she's going to have a really bad month. That's why she's pushing PayPal right now, because she gets the money instantly. Anyway, back to the video. Some people have asked me about my health journey. And anything basically when it goes well, you'll probably know about it. Wow. People have asked me about my health journey and uh I, I don't know, just fucking I guess, I guess if I lose weight you might know you might notice or something. Wow, foodie, that's so poignant. <laughs> this is the woman who laughed at the idea of having a walk earlier on. And when someone earlier on asked, can we do like a Mulbies? And like can we go for like a walk? She's like, oh well, no, uh, not right now. Uh, my hijab's not secure. <laughs> it's like, really? Is that your fucking excuse? Then why are you out and about? Because you're gonna be walking around exposed anyway. Like you're apparently gonna be out and about anyway with your hijab. Look how loose it is nowadays. You know, it's like very slowly coming off. This is the most convincing thing that is kind of hinting at that the relationship is actually over. If it's not so well. You'll know about it. Wow, fantastic. I guess if I do well, you'll know, and if you if I don't, you'll, I guess you'll know. Wow, thanks, Foodie. She's got, remember this is a woman who literally just used the excuse of, my health is the reason why I don't do ra Ramadan fasting. I was eating patties, meat patties. No, <laughs> you're eating chicken patties. I'm assuming the chicken pot. I'm sorry, I'm just jumping in here because it's been boring. It's not. She says she's finished now. She's only at like three or four of them or whatever the fuck. And she's finally finished now. And she can finally sit back and talk with her bees. Even though like all the talking so far has been like, mm-hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. That pretty much just over and over and over again. But now it's meat patties instead of chicken patties because I'm assuming the chicken was not halal. You want to do? I'm going to pin it. They've got the feet on my shirt like that. Oh my god, she's so loud now. We got the feeder mic because, like, someone said it's hard to hear you. It wasn't hard to hear. Like, she was incredibly loud the entire time. But, like, I, I, I don't know how no one noticed the blaring audio issues, the constant crackling and fucking popping. But we got the feeder microphone now. We can only be thankful that it was off when she actually ate. Uh, yeah, it's... It's been, it's like just a repeat of like every other live stream. Like, I'm, I don't really know if I'm going to show like anything else. I know I'm like only a third the way through, but I don't really know if I'm going to show anything else because you just around and go like, yeah, and I, I'm going to get Sam back. Uh, why, 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 why would I say I'm going to get Sam back if I'm not? Because I'm staying in Canada. So that, and that's why, how you know I'm getting Sam back? That. And it's like, really? And it's like, and I, I don't know when Salah's coming to join me in, in Canada because now Salah is apparently just coming to join her. Like I said, it feels like she is just trying to push the buttons that she knows are like things that will like most likely upset reactors and cause like drama and cause views. Right now it's like Salah is actually coming to live with her in Canada. Um, like Sam is actually coming, is coming back to her. She's got a new place set up already. She's definitely moving back. Um, well, how's my health journey doing? Double fist to meat patties into her face is, you know, flaunting, not following her, her Ramadan traditions, everything like that. Everything she's doing. Feels like it is so delicious. And like I said, you get glass half, glass half full, glass half empty. And you can see it as like, this is just her being just so blatantly her again. Like her, like old school her again. And she's a terrible, awful, like tone deaf person. Or she is doing this deliberately for drama and clicks and attention because she had her ban and she wants to try and desperately get money. Clearly hasn't worked out for it, but you know, whatever. <laughs> when chubby chubby. I think it would look so weird if I like didn't have hijab on. Like you wouldn't, my, it would take time for you to adjust to like, getting used to how... The camera, the camera nearly face planted itself, and how fucking cringe that was. Fat and chubby. <laughs> Does she not think her face looks fat and chubby as it fucking is? What? I think it'd take you guys some time to get you. Like I said, it's kind of the hinting at oh, I might be taking it off, that kind of thing. Like I said, I'm not 100 sure I buy into it, but it's like, like it would take you guys a while to get used to my face seeing it fat and chubby. It's like. What do you think you look like? 
What is your level of like body dysmorphia right now where you don't think you already look fat? Like, oh, if I took off my hijab, guys, you guys wouldn't recognize me because I look fat. You look huge. <laughs> you look huge already. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Bizarre. Like I said, I think it's just her very deliberately hinting. Uh, like, maybe I'm going to take it off. Oh my gosh, this is going to fall. Yep. You're bad at everything you do. There it goes again. <laughs> no. I love she can't even just like, look at this. Look her fucking. Remember, the, remember her. This is the woman who said, like, you shouldn't have any tight clothing on or anything like that. All clothes on you are tight. All of them. No matter how baggy and loose it is, it is always fucking tight on you. This is like She can't even just stop the stream and be like, okay, well, this isn't working. This has fallen over four times in a row now. It's not working. This thing doesn't work, guys. I need to just he head on here. She can't do that because she's desperate for money. I can't be on long. I gotta get a new thing here. Yeah, and yet you're here for another 40 minutes. Why don't you just end the stream? Your streams aren't high art. You've done the bit you wanted to do. You've pleased your feeders. You've eaten on camera. You might as well finish now and then come back later on. Okay, I'm just going to skip to here and just do a quick recap because I, like, it's, it's one of those things where I just, I, I'm now hoovering in the other room. I, I just, I'm so bored by it because we're just covering the same points over and over and over again. She very quickly touched on, like, I don't, I, I want to say quickly, but like in a very slow, drawn out way with too much detail that made it unbelievable. Um, she explained the wedding ring photo and it's, you know, even though it happened exactly the same time, like she did it with, um, she, she changed herself back to foodie beauty. Um, well, and she posted a picture of her without her wedding ring. Um, she claimed, oh, well, the thing was, that was one where I'd taken and I sent it to Salah and Salah immediately noticed I wasn't wearing her wedding ring and asked me about it. And I was like, oh, sorry, never mind. And I went and put my wedding ring on and took the exact same photo again. So it's actually two separate photos and, it was a mix-up on my part. I didn't actually mean to do it, even though it was done exactly the same time the Foodie Beauty change. Like, come on. It's, it's very blatant. Like, it's, it was deliberately done. Either because her and Salah had a fight, or because she wanted attention from the reaction challenge, she wanted attention for her grand return, whatever. She claims that the reason she's back to Foodie Beauty is it has more of a history and it's more of a brand because... Miriam was about her finding her religion and then people were so mean about it she moved back to being foodie beauty because I just want to be that, that, that literally was her reason oh yeah and also because her relationship with God I guess is private uh, really fucking dull I, I don't even know if I want to watch the rest of this I'm kind of tempted just to do a live stream to watch because there's two more of these at this point I'm like maybe hey, should I just do a live stream I might just do a live stream to watch these because like the live streams are just going to be a lot more fun that's going to be it yeah I believe in God but sometimes, like, if you go through, sometimes it, there's been times where I've gone through something so difficult. Like, when my grandmother passed, I was, like, you know, angry and stuff like that, uh, you know. But in the end, yeah, of course. I can't. I can't believe it. we're back to this fucking... Everything is about her granny suddenly. Ever since it was pointed out how badly she fucking, like, you know, treated her granny, how she didn't give a fuck about her granny, how she, like, wouldn't even, like, I think it was, like, the COVID vaccine. She wouldn't even get the COVID vaccine to go and see her granny or anything like that. She came on high the night her granny died, was fucking laughing about it and shit like that. Ever since people have called her out for that, everything is just like, oh, yeah, I question God when my grandmother died. Because everything suddenly has to be about her fucking granny. Fucking cringe uh she's pretty much like tells off anyone who like brings up salah like whatsoever in chat it's like you know he's telling my husband don't, don't we're not allowed to bad, bad mouth him it's just over and over and over again and it's like such weird wording to, to choose you know like uh, it, it's the it's something that makes me like lean away from it being like you know like my original idea of like oh well she's just back for like a visa run because it's so weird that every time salah comes up she's like we're not gonna bad mouth him here okay and it's just like like, why, are you say, why would you feel the need to say that about your husband? Like, that's just, shouldn't that just be, like, obvious? It's like, if I've never mentioned, like, my girlfriend to you guys and being like, guys, I'm, I'm not going to insult my girlfriend, okay? I've never just, why, it's, why would that be the first thing you go to in your head every single time? Or is it because, like, her quote-unquote loyal beezers are back and all of them are saying, thank God you're away from him, that was boring as shit, and she's just gotten worn down by it? Questioning is normal and healthy. I don't know. People are going to say that. But, like, I think people from this part of the world, like, this a lot of people think that, you know, Middle Eastern men or Arab men, they have this, like, um, stereotype. There's a stereotype out there that they're controlling. That's why. That's why probably people think that. You literally said it! <laughs> she literally said it as a bonus as why she's attracted to Arab men 
is that they're controlling and obsessed with you and jealous about you and they want to dominate you. She literally used that as a reason for being attracted to Arabic men, including fucking Nader. What? <laughs> now she's like, uh, we're, these people see that stereotype, but you're acting like Salah is the dominant one in the relationship who like controls you and tells you what to do. And you make it sound like you like that. Like, it's so weird that now we're back in Canada, suddenly it's like, oh, people have this weird idea about Arabic men. The weird idea that you said. I know. You, you know. But. She's like miserable. She is down to being miserable again. Now that her fucking chicken patties are done, absolutely fucking, this is the energy. This is 1.5 speed. Yeah, Trixie. This. Yes, I'm still married. Uh-huh. <laughs> married. I am, yeah. Married. Yeah, um, yeah. It instantly just stares off sadly into the fucking distance. Okay, that's the most believable act I've ever fucking seen. She is so low energy. This is 1.5 feet, and this is the energy we're fucking getting. This is why I find her live stream so dull. Because I can watch him at two times speed. I don't miss a single thing. I don't miss a single thing. I am only keeping it at 1.5 speed because I know you guys do not like it faster than that. If that ever changes, I mean, I would probably, I'd have to tell you guys. But- would you? Like, w- would you? Like, I, we don't even think you're married. <laughs> if, well, if my marriage, marital status ever changes, I will, I would have to tell you guys, obviously. No one even thinks you're actually married. So no one even believes you that, like, even if it was real, that you're not divorced now. You might wear that until your deathbed and never see Salah again. Salah could be fucking dead for all we know. I don't, I don't know. Wow. I convincing. Piece, yes. I, I, I don't know. Good yeah, on. I, I'm convinced. Like true. Okay, guys, I'm going to skip all the way to this because I'm not going to show you the full story because it's so boring. But someone made a joke about the way her and Salah sleep because in an earlier life, I don't even know if I include it or not. She made a point that she sleeps, like they, when they're lying in bed, she lies at his, with her head at his feet and he lies with his head at her feet. And then she said, uh, she, she got upset about that, uh, about reactors making up lies about her again. And then said... It's Occam's razor. There's actually a simple explanation for it, which is not really what Occam's razor is, but like, okay. Because she didn't then go with like the simplest solution or anything like that. She didn't say it actually was simpler than like, they just lie, you know, like in opposite directions. It, that Which is like a simple enough explanation. No, no. Instead, she lies like that only when watching movies. And that's because she's fat. So she can't lie on her back and watch movies because her belly's in her way, even though she says the mo- the TV is up high on the wall, so I don't know how high your belly is, that it somehow blocks you to be able to see the wall in front of you, like the entire wall in front of you. So instead she lies in seal position on her side, watching the movie with her head tilted sideways uh, at his feet and with Julia lying between them. And it's like, bro, See the way you just try to say the the real answer is the simplest answer? Your answer, so much fucking more stupid. Because all you literally need to do if you're lying in bed together watching a movie, apparently, is sit up. That's it. Is sit up against the headboard and you could see it. You could sit up slightly with a couple of pillows and that's it. You don't need to have this wide lie at a 94 degree angle looking perpendicular to his feet and I watch the movie sideways you know, like, whilst he, he can lie flat on his back and watch the movie, it's like, no one lies, like, totally flat on their back, like, chin tucked into their fucking chest, watching a movie at night. Like, anytime someone's in bed watching a movie, they're propped up, or they're leaning, or they're slouching, or something like that, they're not, like, lying flat on their fucking back. It's so fucking dumb. Uh, yeah, I'm bored. I'm, I think we're done. I think, I, I honestly think we're done. Did you guys ever see there was a in I think it was in Scotland there was like a Wonka experience that turned out to be super freaking What's it not derogatory? It's saying that it's welfare is derogatory. I don't mean like to make fun of people on welfare, that's not what I mean because I was oh. on welfare for a long time. Oh my but, god, no! But oh. it's just like kind of how we say. Oh my god. <laughs> they called me welfare girl, guys. I was bullied so hard for being welfare girl. So there's this Willy Wonka thing, and it was, like, so welfare. Fucking. So I'm assuming you called someone welfare girl. If that's where your head goes, you were probably the one calling someone welfare girl. If you see something that's, I, I've seen, saw, like, fucking, like, moist critical on people I got made, like, worst Willy Wonka experience. I didn't watch it because I don't give a shit. Um, but, like, 
if you see something that's apparently like cheap and poorly made, your first thought is to call it welfare and like poor people. Like really? Instead of just shit. Instead of crap. Instead of bad. Instead of all that, you go, ah, oh, poor people. That's that's where your head goes. But you're the one pretending that you were the one bullied for being on fucking welfare. Bro, fucking wise up. Okay, I actually rewind because um, I was in the other room. So I actually rewind because I want you guys to hear this because I'm sure people that, that I'm sure people will be happy with this. To me, if somebody says something and they don't, they say one thing and do another. It's because I usually change my mind on what I want to do, but it's not a lie because at the time that I can proclaim that I want to do something, I have the full intention of honest intention of doing it. It's just that it's, there's some other kind of interfering hardship, whether it's my fault or it's not, it's in my control or it's not. Usually it is then that's irrelevant because it does, it's still not a lie if the, the honest intention was to do what you were saying or you were going to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We, I, I thought I should just leave that totally just without commentary <laughs> and just let you guys hear it start to finish because like I said, I heard it in the other end. We It literally is just an updated version of I didn't lie, I changed my mind. Just that nonsense from Foodie again. The woman who lies about everything constantly constantly it's like no, no no i never lie i literally never lie i just change my mind guys because i'm always honest but then i just like change my mind and don't do the thing like i said about being on a diet well actually i wasn't actually on diet but it's not like i lied it's like i actually did try to be on a diet but i changed my mind and then wasn't on a diet so i didn't actually lie no it's like you did lie you weren't actually on a diet you didn't actually die you didn't actually try and save your life literally last time you came back to canada it was a lie it was a fucking visa run bro you had the return flight booked but last time it was a, oh 100 i'm staying here the entire time and this time it's going to be exactly the fucking same but i wonder what fake reason you're going to come up with this time as why you have to go back is it just like oh i'm homesick oh i'm split between two worlds that nonsense again the thing that you did fucking last time that caused you to have to go back suddenly you think i'm bipolar i need to get a psychiatric assessment so i'm in the works on that <laughs> you're not in the works on that you claimed you already have the appointment booked how are you now only in the works for it? We've gone back a step. She claims she already had an appointment. Now she's in the works of getting that sorted out. Holy fuck. She even gave a date last time. It was like two streams ago. She actually gave a date as to when it was happening. Because I remember laughing at her for it. But now, guys, no, no, no. I'm just, I'm, I'm working on getting something like that. Fuck me sideways. She's not bipolar. She's fucking high. <laughs> That's it. She's high. Okay, guys, and yeah, that is us finished there. Uh, yeah, just really, really dull. Uh, she explained that she took off the being married to Salah and also the Muslim thing from her profile because they weren't the focus of her channel anymore and she wanted to focus more on plus-size bees in. Uh, she said how she's definitely getting Sam back. Maybe she's getting Sam back. Maybe in a month or so she's getting Sam back. She actually doesn't have a place. She, it might be a month or so before she gets a place. Oh, it, it, oh, it kept changing just over and over and over again. It was so fucking cringe. And then obviously someone criticized her because of the Sam thing. And she goes like, well... I, 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 I'm sorry that you guys don't understand. I, I like traveling and I can't be stopped from traveling. And then literally someone like in the next sentence wants to ask you to go for a walk. She goes, ah, well, well, I don't know. We'll go for a walk or something like sometime, I guess, maybe. You know, it's like literally the same breath about how like she had to leave her cat behind because she is like a world traveler who wants to see the world. The next breath is like, well, can you do something now? Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't know. It's, Maybe we'll do something at some point. That was, seriously was her fucking reaction. And then she went like, anyway, why did you all not like the Q8 anyway? Like, wh like what? Like, wh what was the problem? You know, like, and she was like genuinely upset that people don't like Q8. Like, she obviously is getting more support now than she went when she was in Q8. Because, and she's only annoyed because she's going back to Q8. That's obviously the only reason she's actually annoyed. Because if she wasn't going back to Q8, she wouldn't be annoyed that people dislike the Q8 storyline. Why would she give a fuck about it? Obviously, she's annoyed because she realized she's about to go back to Q8 and people are not going to give a fuck about her again because they're going to be instantly fucking bored again by it. Uh, yeah, just genuinely really bad. Someone said, like, once again, you look happy. And she goes, I look happy? I, I don't see it. I, I'm just so... Like, immediately, she went full fucking performance. It was embarrassing. Someone asked her, like, are you jet like? Yeah, I'm jet like. Ah! Like, full Nikocado. And it's like... Oh, can we just not re- Oh, God, awful. Just so bad. <laughs> I fucking hate these. <laughs> I really- Yeah, I got- I, I'm probably gonna have to do that thing again, guys, where I just say- Like I said, 
Okay, if you watched this far, fucking go, you're getting a gold medal, I guess. But if you actually did watch this far, let me know what you think about the two two styles of video I did. The other style takes me longer because I have to watch the video and take notes and then go back through and then I edit it out. And I probably should add like more commentary myself, you know, um, between them. I'm kind of was just experimenting with it. Or this one, which is technically faster because it, you know, it's only like an hour to watch, like an hour long you know, thing, because I don't add a lot of commentary to so much of it, but I find it less enjoying. I have no idea. We'll see, but who knows? Might even maybe start doing a live stream to catch up with it. Maybe I do a live stream tonight or something like that. To catch I don't I don't know, guys. I guess we'll see. Have a good one, guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.